Hi, it's the full moon tonight and I've come out to see the moon and while I'm waiting I thought I'd share a few thoughts about Blood Eye um, that I collected earlier on and you can enjoy the view while I'm speaking. Blood Eye is a personification of nature itself. Wild nature, not just na simply natural things. She is taken from the land and put into a form and a marriage that has to then exist within a human framework. Within a society and human culture that places limits and boundaries on how she is to be. She is no longer wild and making her own decisions. In this human form she now has edges. She has boundaries both physical and behavioural. She has expectations of how and how not to behave. She is given a space within a human culture that she has to fit in with. Nature is neither male nor female, but now Blodieth has become a woman and is made to fit into a mould that doesn't fit. This is the story of agriculture. The domestication and modification of plants the creation of weeds, of deforestation, of fields, fences and hedges. It is a time of marking out land that we own and we can exercise total control over what and who has the right to live there at our whim. This is the marriage between the land and mankind and it is on mankind's terms. Nature is moulded into something that is pleasing to man's eye. Nature finds its way to fight back. Blodieth finds love in Gronu. Gronu is a hunter. Gronu seems to pay no heed to boundaries, no fences, no barriers, no borders. He is hunting a stag and he goes where the stag goes. Similarly, when they meet, he makes no heed of the social boundary between himself and a married woman or another man's property. They are not chained by rules or conventions. They express themselves as themselves. Nature finds its way to fight back. The crops fail in the long dry summer whilst the weeds flourish. We cut down the forest to create our fields. The forest sends its seeds into our world and we cut it back to stop it taking over, not giving a second thought that we are actually the ones who have taken over. The animals cross our fences, they trample and eat our crops and it is wild nature that pays the price by being banished from our world or being destroyed and eradicated. The river bursts its banks and floods the town. Its course will be altered, it will be dredged, its ban banks built up with concrete. It will be controlled. We poison the land with weed killer and pesticides so that we can grow our food. This marriage between man and nature is not equal and was not created for mutual benefit. It was because man wanted something, so he plucked nature from its wild state and moulded it into something useful to him, taken without consent or even asking. And this was Blodaya's fate. After fighting back through Granu, she didn't succeed in destroying Clay completely, and in return she was banished into the night to be harassed if she ever set foot into the daylight world of man again. Man sprays no weeds, the scythe cuts, the corn bleeds. Leverets trapped in a harvest blade, tis the time of man, the hare says. Here's the tractor, here's the plough, and where shall we go now? 
We'll lie in forms as still as the dead. In the open fields, the hare said. All our defense is in our legs. We'll run like the wind, the hare said. Man sprays, no weeds. The scythe cuts, the corn bleeds. The leverets trapped in a harvest blade. Tis the time of man, the hare said.